What a special night for some of the all-time greats that uh, have ever driven a stock car. Scott Saturday night, special at Bristol Motor Speedway, and there are the results. Sterling Marlin takes the victory. Rusty Wallace in second. 70-year-old L.D. Ottinger, what a performance. Comes home in third. Texas Terry Labonte in fourth. And Mr. Excitement, Jimmy Spencer, rounding out the top five. Well, let's go down to victory lane. A.B., he's got to be pretty happy. Here he comes. Sterling Marlin, the winner tonight here at Bristol. <laughs> you, you remember how all this works, right? <laughs> I guess it's been a, I guess won a bush race in Bristol in 99 or somewhere, been about 10 years, but uh, I'd like to thank all the guys on my crew and uh, a bunch of great guys on Phoenix Racing come help us Thursday on the chassis stuff and really got the call out in and uh, just everything worked perfect. Great. Thank Goodyear for the tires. And again, I'd like to thank the fans for sticking around and watching this. Hopefully uh, next year, the, a lot of the drivers can build their own cars and come back. This car running in Nashville some, so uh, I can't have a little bit of advantage. All right, so so that's the business stuff. Did you have fun? <laughs> I had a ball. These, uh, these cars drive really good, uh, a lot better than uh, what we're driving uh, my car is today, but uh, got a lot of grip. So uh, we just had a good time with it. Now, by winning this, you get to donate $25,000 to charity. And I know you just climbed out of the car, and I don't know whether you had a chance to think about it before the race or not, but that's a pretty nice thing to be able to do. It is. I, you know, I'd like to thank Bristol Raceway for doing this. We, like I said, we had a lot of fun with it and uh, probably donate some money to the Appalachian Foundation. My, pe my, my partner right here, Andy Petrie, <laughs> and uh, he drove his guts out, won his race, so uh, we had a great time. Did you have fun? Oh, man, you can't have any more fun than that. Good job, Sterling. Thank you, Andy. You too. All right, so great donation to charity coming from Sterling Marlin, uh, Andy Petrie, and Sterling, the winners tonight here at our Scott Saturday Night Special. Congratulations. What a special night, and then thanks to all the folks uh, at Bristol Motor Speedway putting it together, and Ned being able to bring some of the great legends back out, and a thrill for me to have you come back in the booth and join. I, I enjoy working with DJ every week, but having you come back and bringing back the great memories of the early days of ESPN. Well, it was a real treat, and I appreciate ESPN uh, allowing me to come and do this. But I knew it would be a fun race, and it was. What do you think about some of the guys? How about L.D. Ottinger at 70 years of age? I mean, he was gaining on those guys. Unbelievable. You know, if they'd had a caution in the last five laps there, he might I'd have won that thing because he he was turning some fast lap times out there and at that age I'm impressed there he is there's LD DJ I remember we watched this guy when we were growing up in the Hickory area and realized that he was good he was really really good and almost unbeatable then hadn't been in a race car in a decade yeah, it's pretty amazing that he could get out there and do that. He said he hadn't been in a car in 10 years, and to come to this racetrack and get in a car that he doesn't really know, uh, that was just great. But what a great job all of these guys did. Bristol for bringing this for the fans, and, and obviously then the charities that are, are going to be donated to. So uh, just a win-win situation for everyone. This was a special night for a lot of the folks, uh, the NASCAR folks, to remember some of the greats like uh, Cale Yarborough, three consecutive titles. No one had done it until Jimmy Johnson did it this year. One of the all-time greats, Harry Gant. Handsome Harry. Remember the great wins from the back to the front at Martinsville, Virginia. Texas Terry, all the great finishes here when he won the race and then went on to win the championship that year. And of course, how special for us, so many great memories for the fans over the years by having Ned Jarrett. And Ned, thank you so much for all the great memories and thanks for coming back and sharing this uh, evening with us. It was a ball, Jerry, and uh, Bristol has always been one of my favorite places. It was one of my favorites as far as racing is concerned and uh, certainly as far as working a race was concerned because you knew that you was going to have some action when you came here. And you won here on your way to your second time here, one in Bristol, Tennessee. So great to have Ned here and uh, the only all-time greats uh, both on and off the racetrack. Gentleman Ned Jarrett joining us in the broadcast booth. Congratulations now to Sterling Marlin and all the drivers who got a chance to come back and be a part of a special evening here in Bristol, Tennessee. We'll come back and wrap it up in just a moment. The NASCAR Nationwide Series off for uh, next weekend, but then we return to action in Texas Saturday, April 4th, 2.30 Eastern Time on ESPN2. High speeds, high fun. Kyle Busch trying to win a third straight race at Texas. Find out how it all turns out when you join us on April 4th, 2.30 Eastern on ESPN2. And tonight here in Bristol, more of the uh, post-race wrap-up after tonight's Scott Saturday Night Special. Vince, who you got? I think there's been any driver as popular with the fans tonight as Cale Yarborough. 
He's been down here signing all kind of autographs. It's it's like you never left the sport, Kale. How did it feel when you were in the car? Well, it's um, it's good, you know, to have all these fans around. It's good to be back in the race car. I'm just mighty rusty, I'll tell you that. And of course, I had a bad foot tonight and a and a bad wrist. And I told these boys they got a great race car. Gave me a great race car. The driver just wasn't no good tonight. But we'll be back. Did you have fun? I had fun. I really had fun. Like I say, the car was great, but. Uh, I just couldn't do it justice. I was, uh, my foot was hurting and my wrist was hurting, but uh, next time I come, I'll be well. One of the all-time greats and certainly a fan favorite tonight, Cale Yarborough, Mike Massaro. And Vince, we're catching up with the ESPN Dream Team, if you will, Ray Everham and Rusty Wallace. And Rusty, a lot of people had you as the favorite coming into this thing. You put on a good show, but just couldn't come home with a victory. What'd you need? I was just a little short. I was a little too tight down the middle of one and two, but turn three and four was really good. But Sterling just flat beat me. He had a good car. I'd like to congratulate him and his guys. But this car that Steve Levitt built for me, it was an amazing car. This guy built this car in three weeks. It's got to be one of the most beautiful pieces of work I've ever seen in my life. Steve Levitt built it. The guys back at the shop, West Ward, helped me with it and Ray did a great job driving as my teammate. I thought he had Andy there. That old car he had was flying in that Oakley car but uh, man it felt so good to come back. I just had a good time. Yeah, kind of a grudge match in the heat race with a couple other ESPN analysts. You spun out. What happened? Uh, well uh, exactly I spun out. Uh, you know we had an awfully good car and I really want to thank Philip Morris and his guys really did a good job working with me to get me up to speed. Uh, just got a little bit loose under Andy and uh, wrecked uh, Rusty's Oakley sponsored car there and but uh, man this guy's been a great teammate and uh, and a great friend and hopefully we can do more stuff like this. Well no doubt this was a lot of fun when you look around and you see guys like Junior Johnson, Cale Yarbrough, David Pearson was here to witness this. What was this like for you? It meant a lot to me, it really did. I mean, uh, I'm 52 years old, I got in a car and I felt like I still got it. But then when I looked over and saw Junior and I saw Kale and all those guys, it brought back a lot of memories because those guys were definitely my heroes. They did such a good job for this sport and it was so much fun to see them out there, a lot of fun. And those memories came back for me as well as I'm sure they did for you as well, Dave. And Mike Eldy Ottinger, who finished third, just called Rusty a spring chicken. We'll talk to Terry Labonte, who finished fourth in just a second. But Eldy, what did you mean by that? Does he th think he had an advantage because he's a spring chicken? I'm going to be his father. <laughs> but it's a lot of fun. You know, Rusty's great. He's a great competitor, and I love Rusty. But, uh, you know, we had a good time tonight. Uh, you know, all these guys, it's an honor just to be asked to come around with these guys, you know. And, uh, and you I'll, had it hanging out there with a the loose race car. It was fast. Yeah, it, it ran good. You know, the, the chip was kicking off uh, real early, and there's a making us get loose getting in the corner but uh, you know the car ran good I want to thank uh, Tom Pistol for building us a great race car and I want to thank uh, the Smoker Mountain Outdoor for paying the bill to get us here for this deal the guys owns the car you know the kid that uh, drives the car he wanted to drive it but uh, so and run the other race but they they talked to me to let me drive it and I think he's well pleased you know he and the crew they've done a great job it's the first time I've drove one of these cars and well it's the second time I've been to race car in 15 years so you did a lot of fun did a great job LD and one of the guys other than us who were watching him come through the pack was Terry Labonte. Did you get out of his way? He's going so fast. Man, I saw him coming. I said, I'm going to get out of his way because he's uh, he's got an awful good car there. And I thought he might get up there for for the win there. But uh, it was fun. It was a, it was a, a fun event and it was fun to race against these guys. Now Terry had a great time as well. Finishes fourth today, Vince. And I'm with Junior Johnson, and we're glad to see that they got your car back out there. But we know that it couldn't have been uh, all that comfortable to drive. How was it? Well, it was, it was fairly comfortable. I, I take the blame for where I run. You know, I hadn't been in a car in about four to five years, so I thought I did pretty good. Yeah, you look like you hadn't uh, hadn't missed a beat. You won here in 1965. Remember anything specific from that one? Yeah, I had a car that was very tough on your arms to drive, and uh, uh, Fred Lorenzen, he relieved me for a little while, and then I got rested, and I got it back in it and took it on to Victor Lane. Uh, this place is really hard. To, uh, you got to be in good condition to run it, and nobody knew about anything about how it physically took. So uh, my car was set up to turn the corner itself almost, and you had to drive it down straight away. So it just wore my arms out, and I had to give it up for a little while. <laughs> well, he certainly drove it tonight, Junior Johnson. Alan?
<laughs> All right, Vince. So much fun to see Junior and LD and uh, Kale and all the drivers back behind the wheel of these cars tonight. Jack Ingram, uh, David Pearson here, his son Larry driving. And you look at the final results from the Scott Saturday Night Special, Sterling Marlin in victory lane, holding off uh, Rusty Wallace. Sterling doing most all the leading on the night on this one. And congratulations to him. That's a big trophy they gave him in victory lane, too. It's about up to my shoulders. It's so big. Uh, coming up next on ESPN2, boxing Juan Carlos Gomez against Vitaly Klitschko. That is next on ESPN2. Let me also mention tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. Eastern time, the Bristol pre-race edition of NASCAR Now here on ESPN2. Get you all set for tomorrow afternoon's NASCAR Sprint Cup Series race. So a great night here at Bristol. The idea to give the fans a little something extra for their buck on behalf of the Speedway staff here in Bristol. Uh, they talked some of the sports greats into coming back and climbing behind the wheel of a race car, all of whom have won here at Bristol in the past before and uh, many of whom are the great legends of NASCAR racing. They came back, they shared some laughs and some memories with each other, they got behind the wheel, gave some of the fans a thrill too. And at the end of the night, a good time was had by all, and Sterling Marlin took home the trophy as the winner. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Thanks for joining us for the Scott Saturday Night Special at Bristol.